Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're new here, hello. Uh, my name is Ashley and I run things here at Okro Gal. And today, you guessed it, it's that time of the week. We are back with another grocery haul. Today I hit Trader Joe's and Walmart. Um, and yeah, I feel like now it's like, we had a very fun weekend. Um, Cernan and I together, my mom, and dad took Daisy for the weekend. She was with them Friday night, Saturday night, and then she came home today. So the grocery shopping kind of reminds me that like we're back in business. <laughs> we're parents again and um, tomorrow's Monday. So um, in terms of my haul today, I you'll see when I show you my list, but I, I'm really not cooking that much this week. I'm not doing lunches this week because we've been pretty good in terms of like, um, kind of eating snack type stuff to kind of, to like sustain us through the day. I feel like that's all I keep doing. Um, so between like the turkey sticks and the Lara bars and I'm gonna do hard boiled eggs this week, we don't really need like a lunch meal. Um, and then I'm also just using a lot of what I already have. I have a soup in the freezer that I'm gonna defrost. I have a spaghetti squash I'm going to use that I, like, that I already had. Um, so you'll see that kind of reflected in the list and in the haul. I also wanted to mention before we get started, I brought up last week that Trader Joe's was out of avocados, Sprouts was out of avocados. Then we went to, where did we go? We went to Cheesecake Factory, no, Red Robin and somewhere else and they didn't have avocados either. So. I knew something was going on so I asked the cashier today because I noticed they had them back and apparently there was like a farmer's strike. Um, so like nobody was getting avocados in at least Southern California all of like la the last week and a half. So that was kind of interesting. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into it. You guys know the drill. I will show you my list. I will show you the haul and then I'll tell you how much I spent. All right, here's my list for the week. It's kind of a mess because I had to go to two stores so I crossed everything I got off crossed everything off my list that I got at Trader Joe's and circled everything I needed to get at Walmart. But I'll show you guys anyway. We have dairy, we have um, snack stuff for Daisy. What is this? Um, drinks. We have, oh, this was like a random thing at Target I needed to get. Um, <laughs> I needed to remind myself to get mac and cheese. Frozen stuff, aisle stuff, produce and meat. And then the, this is what I'm cooking. This week, spaghetti squash and meatballs. Then we have that chili I was talking about um, that I'm gonna defrost. Lentil and black bean soup, chili. Thursday, we're decorating our Christmas tree, so I have a feeling we're probably just gonna get um, takeout. Oliver, Oliver. And then we're gonna have that lentil and black bean soup again on Friday. All right, so let's start with the produce. We have some diced onion. We have some celery, um, salsa. We I never buy chips, but I bought chips. I bought chips last week. Um, I don't even remember why. So I bought salsa this week. Oranges for Daisy, apples um, for us. We've been doing like apples and peanut butter as a, a snack and it it's just like plenty to fill you up. It's been awesome. And then avocados because we've also been doing avocado toast uh, in the morning as well. We have sliced cheese. This is mainly for Daisy um, for when I make her grilled cheeses or sometimes she likes cheese as a snack. We have her yogurt, two things of eggs because we are eating eggs every morning and I'm gonna do hard boiled eggs this week. Um, milk, I think I need this for the meatballs I'm gonna make. Um, I, I write everything on the list and then sometimes I don't remember what, like, why I actually need it. All right, I've really been into this lately. It's the dark chocolate peppermint um, natural bliss creamer. I like this one. Well, I like this creamer in particular. Let's see if I can get my camera to focus because of the ingredients. Um, it's literally just milk, cane sugar, heavy cream, and then cocoa flavor. Um, and I use regular half and half. And then I put this in just for like a little bit of like a flavor kick, if you will. Um, okay, next up we have snack stuff. Bars for Daisy, Lara bars for us. The, this one is my favorite, it's the peanut butter cookie. I also like the peanut butter chocolate chip, but it, that one almost tastes like a dessert, where this one tastes more like a like regular snack bar. So picked up some of those, some more turkey sticks, peanut snacks for Daisy, um, these fruit snacks for Daisy and some more crackers. Next up we have beverages. We have quite the spread this week. Um, 
Let's start over here with the kombucha. So I picked up two of the Trader Joe's brand, the cranberry spiced apple. I really like these ones. And then I love these ones. Um, they're, I think they're 40 cents more than the Trader Joe's brand. So not, not horribly more expensive. Um, it's the Synergy Kombucha Watermelon Wonder. I love that one. So I picked up those. Two things of coffee because one has not been enough. And I think I mentioned last week, I'm trying not to do like, hi. Um, <laughs> I'm trying not to do like midweek shopping trips anymore. So I picked these up for Daisy. Um, in our house, juice boxes are more of a treat. They're not something she has every day. Um, so if she like was really well behaved when we went somewhere, if she's being a good listener, if she helps clean up extraordinarily, then she gets a juice box. So I picked up these ones and I actually think I'm going to start buying these instead of the Trader Joe's ones. I like that they're organic. Um, they have less sugar than the Trader Joe's. The Trader Joe's, um, has 11, I think. And these ones have, I don't know, that's going to focus. These ones have nine. Um, it's, it's all natural sugar. Even the Trader Joe's ones, it's, it's not added sugar. So that's, that's good. Um, and they're this, like the same price. So I'm pumped about that. Um, I know you guys are going to be devastated, but my normal Frasione that I get, the black bottle of Frasione, they upped the price. Now it's $8.99. You know, y'all know I can't pay that. So I got the Lagrangia, which I usually always get, or I frequently get, and then the M Chevalier. Um, one of, I think this one is $6.99, this one's $6.49. Um, and then two um, sparkling waters for Daisy. All right, guys, sorry if this video is all over the place. Daisy's hard at work over here, and so I'm going to... <laughs> with her like yelling and stuff. I'm gonna have to edit some of that out. Not all of it, but some of it. All right, um, aisle stuff, two things of Annie's mac and cheese for Daisy, um, chicken broth, two cans of black beans, and then a thing of diced tomatoes. The only frozen thing I picked up this week was this shelled edamame. I'm trying to get Daisy to eat more veggies and I'm just trying everything. So um, we'll see how that goes. And then for meat, I got ground beef for my meatballs and this chicken sausage for days. Um, again, along with more veggies, I'm trying to get her to eat more protein, so um, we'll see how she likes that. This obviously is not a grocery item, but it is something I picked up at Walmart. I don't normally show you guys the like non-grocery stuff that I pick up, but I thought these were so cool. So these are by Dr. Teal's, and they're specifically made for kids, and they're lavender bath bombs. She loves putting things in the bath, whether they're like, um, I had been buying those like color tablets, which were like, I know not good, because it's just, you're sitting in like a bath of dye. But um, they had Elmo on it, so she was pumped about it. She loves the color tabs, she loves bubble bath, she loves anything that you put in the bath. And while these are, were priced here, they're five bucks, and the color tablets I had been buying, um, I think you got like eight in a thing and it, they were 99 cents. Um, but these are so much better, no dye. Um, and I think they're gonna be really fun to, um, for her to watch like fizz in the bath. So, um, so my grand total this week was 133. I spent $99 at Trader Joe's and I spent $34 at Walmart and that includes um, this. So that's technically not a grocery item. So I guess if you were to take that out, um, then I spent 129, which is really good because y'all know my, my kind of budget is 150. We're still working off of the soda and the LaCroix and the applesauce that we got at Costco last week, so I didn't have to replenish any of that. Um, and yeah, I, I, I'm very, I'm very happy with my, with my haul this week. You know, some weeks like you just spend too much and you're like, why? Like, what did I buy that I didn't need to buy? And you kind of analyze what you picked up. Well, <laughs> at least I do. If you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so that you're made aware every time that I upload. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's haul and I will see you next time. Bye friends.